Perception. It goes beyond what we see, what we hear, taste, and ultimately believe. There's a Zen parable of two tadpoles swimming in a pond. Suddenly one turns into a frog and leaves the pond. When the frog returns to the water, the second tadpole asks, Where did you go? I went to a dry place, answers the frog. What is dry? asks the second tadpole. Dry is where there's no water, says the frog. The second tadpole then asked, And what is water? You don't know what water is, the frog replied in disbelief. It's all around us. Can't you see? At times in the midst of our own thoughts, emotions, circumstances, we don't see the water all around us. I'm Dr. Maya Zelich, Fulbright Specialist, NASA Global Dialogue Partner, co-author of the book on perception, co-creator of the Perception Index, and a global researcher. In Plato's work Republic, there is an interesting segment known as Allegory of the Cave. It describes prisoners chained looking only at the walls of the cave, while puppeteers bring many different objects right behind them. With a fire reflection, the objects project on the wall, and each prisoner is seeing an illusion of the real objects, thereby perceiving things in their own unique way. The illusion on the walls of the cave is their reality, since that is the only reality they're exposed to. We may need to ask ourselves, do we all perceive the true reality? Is there such a thing? Is what we see around us real? Or are we seeing shadows of our interpretations within the walls our minds built? As we go through life, our perception evolves quite a bit. As with any other concept closely tied to human experience, perception patterns change as we encounter new people, new experiences, and unfamiliar settings. At its very core, the education process ensures our perception evolves, adjusts, improves, and sets us up for the future career and life successes. The Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens opens up with this memorable quote. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. How can the same era be the best and the worst of times? The key is perception of those who are involved in the chain of events during that time period. At this moment, we are going through a significant global crisis. Our ability to push through and manage is quite connected to our perception of today's, as we all can agree, pretty troublesome reality. Focusing on positive aspects of our lives, focusing on things we can control while helping others would be the best approach to perceive this new reality in the most productive way. Forbes School of Business and Technology programs and emphasis can help you unleash the power of perception while teaching you how to eliminate boundaries within yourself on the path to successful global leadership.